My name is Walter Hartwell White, and this is my confession. Is it 8.30 here? 9.30. Yeah, we're about to do... Oh, shit, sorry. We're about to do an apology. Um, dinner was great. Dinner was great. Uh, and this is a very important stream. And I gotta tell you why. Because, um... You know... When you break it all down, the Dew Dome is not a place, it's a people. The Nug Dome is not a place, it's a people. And, um, and, and we have to do some very important investigating. It's very important stuff. Nick is not one of those people. <laughs> Motorcycles are going crazy outside. Jesus. We are talking about that earlier. Like, it's good that motorcycle assholes are universal. They're just, they're everywhere, and that's great. Konnichiwa, Seasad Bebo. Aragato Gosimaesu. Oh, I'm reading all the way down here. You have to go, Aragato Gosimaesu. It's always like you extend that part, you know. I learned that. The same with Sumimasen. Neo Ayoshi, what up, Neo? 14 months. Very important investigating. I don't know where to put my microphone. I can't clip it on. Is it too loud if it's here? Is it, is this too loud? Or is all, these mics, you always kind of want to have them further away from you. Perfect? Okay, sick. Perfect. Love it. Okay. First off, we do a fry. Any special sauces? No, they just put regular sauce. They didn't put any sauces. <laughs> okay. Strike one. Even though I, I'm not a sauce dude, they didn't put a sauce. I'm not a sauce man. I've got the sauce, but I'm not a sauce man. Want to see what I bought real quick, chat? Before we get real, uh, as we get real ADHD already. I haven't even, like... I should eat this before the, the vent is like right over the, the, the vent is right over. So this is very important. Let's do this first. French fry. Japanese fry. I've been doing everything in my power to not pull a John Blackthorn and say the Japans. It's like, what a, what a show. Shogun was incredible. Here we go. Hey, all it took was for Annie going to Japan to me to catch a live stream. Welcome in. Love that. Hello, Meta Nightmare. Three months of Prime Gaming. Thanks for using your Prime on me. So no sauces. They put regular sauces. They saw you. You're a gaijin. <laughs> of course, I know what gaijin means. I watch Tokyo Drift. 
I'm, I also bought this. A Fanta Melon. I don't want a Fanta. That's that's totally fine. I don't I don't I don't love that. Okay, here's the thing. The McDonald's fry. We all watched Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, where we learned that love transcends time and space. It's a universal, heavy on the universe, right? Like, it's a universal form of expression, connection. And the same can be applied to the fry, to the McDonald's fry. You could, you could strap my ass to a rocket ship and send me to Neptune and it's very likely that if there was a McDonald's there it would be delicious fries taste the same love it which is great I think if there was a I think if there was a hold on let me let me hold this up for a screenshot can somebody take a screenshot of me how about this? Can somebody put the Japan flag over, like somewhere? Like I don't, I don't have, a, I can't make a thumbnail right now. Um, it's a good fry. People often quote Interstellar in their food reviews. You know, I, I, I try to, I try to meet everybody where they're at. You know. It's a good fry. Now, the nug. Here's one thing I'll say about the nug. It's not going to look great to you all because of the lighting. It's not going to look accurate, rather. But it looks, it doesn't look as tanned. Maybe because I'm just used to the spicy nugs recently. But it doesn't look, it looks lacking in melanin. Let me take a little, take a little, uh, take a little bite right here for y'all. Just look, doesn't it just look like a, like if you take my fingers out of it, like it's just like a gigantic nugget. It's crazy the way perspective works. Look at that. All right, here we go. Go go in for one more. Hold on. I gotta say, man. This is better than any McDonald's nugget I've ever had in America. Like, when explaining the nugget, you cannot bring quality into the conversation. We know what we're eating. Or we don't. But we know... It's not something you'd want to let your doctors know about. But there is a quality. And again, I don't want to use the word quality, but I'm doing it. And I don't care. 
Okay, you can't arrest me because I'm overseas. I'm across the pond. All right, and there's something about there's something about the quality of this that just feels it feels at a different level. It, feel, it it reminds me honestly of eating the katsu curry the other day. Where the katsu curry, we get all the chicken, man, we get the chicken cutlets and I'm looking at these chicken little cutlets and I'm like, dude, all of these pieces look so, like it's a different quality of chicken. It's a different, we're not operating on the same playing field. And it's like, it's like these McDonald's employees were warned that fucking Chef Gordon Ramsay was going to be visiting their restaurant today. And they had to pop the fuck off. And they did. But this is just how they normally do it, right? I mean, when it's... it's uh, I'm talking a crisp, a crunch... A flaky outer shell with a chicken quality that that doesn't in any way feel uh, doesn't in any way feel feel or taste like it's been messed with, you know. There's a purity here. And if we could do a callback to Breaking Bad, like I did earlier, a second callback, if we were to grade this in the little whatever grading thing they do to check like the purity of the meth, can I say meth over the over Japanese internet? I don't know. Well, I did it, but I'm overseas. So I can't be arrested. Oh, man. I'm not even hungry, dude. Like, I just ate ramen. And it was fantastic. And I only ordered... I was like, I'll eat a couple nugs on camera. Just thinking that that was going to be it, but good, goodness gracious. Darwin is gifting away a piece of merch. Hey, so, sound the warnings. Sound the alarm. Eh, probably not good. Type an exclamation point enter to try to win the merch. Howdy from Texas at 7 a.m. What up? Welcome in. I got an OP1. Bought it on Amazon. Um... I had a crazy discount on it because of all the Amazon credit I've built up over the last 15 years. I don't know why I'm soiling this experience with the Fanta that's very mid. But this is a good nugget. I don't even want to eat anymore. I'm full. What's our new schedule for today? Well, the day's over. No, it's 10, it's 10 p.m. Who won the giveaway? Christy Cream won the giveaway. Shout out to Darwin for gifting away merch. The other day, Darwin gifted out 10 subs. 
absolutely buck wild. Thank you so much for that. Congratulations, Krispy Kreme. Love that name. I just walked by a Krispy Kreme earlier. I was very tempted. You're going to go house a 20 piece tomorrow? No. What I'm going to get again tomorrow. I have a very late flight. I don't know how long I'm going to stream. I kind of want to stream as much as possible. Maybe I'll just get bored and turn off the stream, but like, I need to kind of stay up as much as possible. Because checkouts at 11 a.m. I think uh, Jake, Decker, and Jan, I think we want to get up early and go try to see the Osaka Castle. And hopefully, not only do that, but go back to that mall. Because there was a, I bought some stuff. Because when I wasn't, when I was streaming earlier, I didn't even go to all the different places. I wasn't aware of, you know, we walked, went up the escalator and I just kind of looked here. I didn't really look behind. And there was a From Software store. I mean, it wasn't official, but they sold a bunch of From Soft stuff, so I had to buy this shirt of the doll. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. It's a pretty good impression. And I bought these, and I, and I kind of regret it, but I bought them anyway. Um, fuck. Little talismans. Pins. What fucking sucks about it is that they are, they're blind box openings. So I just had to pick two at random. I almost went back to buy more. I might buy more tomorrow. I'm not happy about getting these two necessarily. America Sore Seal. And I think this is like Earth Tree's Blessing. This is the one that like regenerates your health. Because there's other ones. And this, I, I regret these just because I, I wanted, I wanted the, uh, they had the big shield, the one that like gives you crazy defense. And I also wanted, I wanted Radagon's uh, Scar Seal or Sword Seal. Um, and, oh shit. <laughs> they did give me sauce. It was in a different bag. I feel bad now. I was talking shit. It's barbecue sauce and ketchup, I think. Damn, I feel bad, dude. I don't feel I don't feel good about talking shit about them. Yeah, I was really I was very judgmental and mean earlier. Oh, check it out, chat. Look what I was doing earlier while I was bored. It's that La Seraphim song. Act like an angel, just like crazy. What up, Gilbert? And I didn't stop at Super Potato. Well, I did stop at Super Potato. They didn't really have anything that I wanted. Um, but I stopped at another store. And trust me, I, I was ready to swipe the card at Super Potato. Trust me, I was waiting to swipe the card at Super Potato. But they didn't have what I wanted, which is probably good for me. But I stopped at another store. And bought this little baby. 
Look at that. Lighting's probably terrible, sorry. Really wanted, I mean, it's just like, here's the thing that I love. I, I, I was gonna say, here's the thing I love about Japanese culture, but it's not really necessarily just Japanese culture, but I'm always reminiscent of it whenever I see manga or whenever I see game cartridge boxes. I love how small things are. I fucking love like just walking into a manga shop and seeing just little tiny books. I think it's cute as shit. And I love the packaging for a lot of their games. Little tiny books. Lolly Fox, thank you for 21 months of support. Japan gave us the K car. America gave us a cyber truck. It's so, it, yeah, like you drive, you, you're just walking by and you see a tons of cool little cars or just trucks that are like the size of my Civic. Have you had any Unagi over there? No, I don't know what that is. Hello, Shifra. How's it going? What up, Brady Spiker? Thanks for 17 months, Brady Spiker. Very kind of you. Thank you once again to Lolly Fox for 21 months. Also, shout out to Lolly Fox and Vince for uh, posting those YouTube wrap ups or whatever those things are. So cool. Unagi is an eel. No, I, I did have a, I had some octopus today and some shrimp. Uh, Broken Relic, 23 months of support. Thank you, Broken Relic. Later, kebabs. Be well. Yes, I'm so-and-so, a first-time subscriber. We got a first-timer from Yes, I'm so-and-so. Thank you very, very much. Meta Nightmare, three months of support. Cyber Waste. Tier 3 for 81 dang months. That's nuts, dude. Thank you, Cyber Waste, for being so supportive for so long. Be Somebody's Blues, 60 months of support. That's five years. Thank you, Be Somebody's Blues. Shout out once again to Neo, Aoshi, and CSAD. I was... Um, Kevin Conquesel, a full year of support. Those talismans was a or cool. We'll be in Japan for a month. For a month, holy shit! Next week, where did you pick them up? In Dotenberry. Dot. Dotenberry. There's whatever the mall is. There's like a mall that's like seven. Seven stories, seven feet tall. Um, no, it's like seven or eight stories. Um, and on the sixth floor, there's all sorts of just nerdy shit. Whoa, Ham Adriano. Thank you so much. Holy shit, give them ten. Um, there's a very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, dude. There's a, uh, there's that mall and there's on the sixth floor where you'll find the Capcom store and there's like a Sanrio store and all sorts of shit like that. This doesn't seem like a permanent place. This seems like a little pop-up shop. But it's a bunch of just random from soft stuff. You go to the Ami Ami figure store 
Is that the place with just all the Gundams? Because yes. And I was trying to stream from there, and then the internet cut out, so I didn't try it again. But I did like a two-minute stream <laughs> from inside the the big-ass Gundam sh uh, store today. It doesn't just have Gundams, but it's like the checkout looks like RX-78 themed, you know. What up, Graham? This is the time you need to be streaming on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, I'm always streaming just hella late. Thank you once again, Kevin Congressal. And I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's Ham Adriano because it's like it's not intercapped, so it could be Ham Adriano or it's like Ham Adrian O. But thank you so much. Yeah, I was I was pretty surprised by this little FromSoft place. That's where I... Ham Adriana. Okay, sick. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Um, if you checked the... On Blue Sky, I posted the picture of uh, Sigurd of Katarina. It's like a big-ass statue of him just kind of sitting there. Um, and they have a bunch of different... I'm done with the McDonald's, by the way. Now I'm feeling full, and I don't, I don't want any more. Um... They have uh, a bunch of different pieces of merch. Like, pretty cool merch, actually. There's one that I was going to get that was... Uh, it was between this or the... I, I, like, legitimately cannot fit anything more. I might legitimately leave a shirt or two behind. <laughs> I, think I packed too many shirts. I was confused the other days. I packed way too many shirts. So... Maybe I'll pull Snowback Mike and, you know, leave a t-shirt in a bush somewhere. Yeah, I'm in Kojima land. I'm here actually to broker the deal between Sony and FromSoft. And he's going to wear six shirts on the flight. You know what? Not a bad call, honestly. That's not a bad call. I'm, I, was, I was so confused with the, like... Again, we left on Tuesday, but you don't get here until Wednesday... And you leave Saturday, but you arrive on Saturday because you're going back in time. It's weird. So, yeah, the I wanted to buy more shirts of that from South Place because they had one of Ronnie as well. They had one of Blythe. They had one uh, of Radon. Maybe I'll leave him in the city somewhere and say, "Some come get these shirts," and nobody will get these shirts, and they'll just become they're biodegradable. Probably not though. Can you say when we get to hear about Monster Hunter? I'm pretty sure I can, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm pretty sure they're like, you can let your viewers know when the embargo date is and when the. Um, like, and let them know why you're here, you know. Yeah, that new Coheed song kicks ass. I need, to, I need to listen to it again. I didn't really fully listen to it. I'm excited to be on the plane and just kind of dig into it. It's a weird one. I'm just kind of caught in this sort of, you know, I want to be sleepy for the flight. So what's, what to, what's a man to do? Because it's, it's only 10. And there's a lot of people out right now at karaoke and I just like, I, I like my body's tired. I'm not necessarily sleepy, but my, like we got like 30k steps in. It's crazy. Mill your clothes back to the U.S. A lot of concert creators do that to get more stuff on the plane when they visit. Damn. That's that's like for rich content creators. So <laughs> it's it's you know with me it was just it's an accident you know I would just pack too many shirts.
I'm trying to play the rush fucking thing. There we go. We're close. There we go. And I want to mention, I love the muse, oh, the music of the Visual Triangle. You and Nick killed it there. Oh, I, I think Nick just found that somewhere. That wasn't us making that. I mean, I would, you know, that would have been cool. But the the that was part of the plan. Part of the plan was just to do a live ad on the set, where I would just be like, fucking like. And it was just like gonna be me making music in the background with like just spotlight on us, but we ended up just we ended up uh, Nick just ended up doing it on his own, which is good because we don't really have time. The year is 2034. The year is 2025. It's always just like a year ahead. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's never too far out. It's always just right there, Gilbert. The year is 2025. And it's just a, it's, it's nothing that could, nothing that's ever too crazy. The year is 2025. Gas has gone up by at least three cents. <laughs> it's just, just facts. <laughs> Thor Strike 91. Thanks for five months of support. Thank you, Thor Strike. Nick lives in the moment. You're right. That is that is probably it. That's probably it. The year's 20, 2083. Nick is still starting every song with the year. <laughs> Nick is Nick is still alive. <laughs> You know what I'm most sad about, honestly? Like, being here is amazing. I totally understand why when people visit here, they're like, I want to move here. Totally get that. It's, I don't ever think I've, like, fallen in love with a place. I think I've kind of fallen in love with this. I think it's like, this, this is so cool. Um, but the thing that sucks about being here, no war zone. Big mistake. Like I miss it. Like I was I was finding my groove. I had awakened. If he survived the Great Depression, he'll definitely be around that's yeah, that's probably true. Cockroaches, you know. Years 2024, and he still hasn't played a Warzone. I'm gonna get back as soon as possible. I had a, um, I was mentioning earlier today that the original plan was a connecting flight from here to Kyoto, or for, yeah, from here to, uh, from here to Tokyo, sorry. And I'm so glad that I chose to not do that. 
I can't imagine the levels of anxiety of me going the wrong way. At least now I'll be on a flight with Jan and Jake. And if they fuck up, we all fuck up. You know? But I would have definitely messed up. Like, there's no question about it. I'm just, like, just, I'm serious, Cameron. Like, just thinking about the odds of, like, I'm just being as realistic as possible. Connecting from Osaka to Tokyo, I would have fucked it up. I'm, I'm, I was going to fuck it up somehow. Get arrested. I, I would have walked into, like, a military base. I don't know. I would have done something really stupid. Who are Jan and Jake? Uh, Jan. Oh, this is Tyler talking. You know who they are. Unless you don't. Yeah, you do. Right? (laughs) Jan from Giant Bomb and Jake from GameSpot. Jake Decker. If Mike is capable of traveling to the Grand Canyon, you can do anything. No, but like, you know, I mean, he did that for an event, right? Like, this would be me trying to navigate. I'm way more comfortable with being at the airport knowing that I'm connecting domestically somewhere or that I'm connecting to an American city, you know? You hear that? Going crazy out there, they're racing. There's a local guy, Jean, in town. This local guy, Jean, who's like flirting with one of the, with one of the draft, with one of the Drift Kings, not the Draft King. (laughs) That's a betting website, one of the Drift King's girlfriends. Pretty fucked up stuff happening. Thanks for being on for my ride to work. No problem, C26s. Sorry, it's so boring. I got no music on. I got nothing happening. Just in that, like I was mentioning earlier, that weird between zone. I'm going to, what I'm going to try to do is stay up until at least three. Three sounds about right. Not that I'm going to stream until three. I mean, fuck that. It's five hours from now. That's crazy. I'm going to try to stay up until 3. Maybe 4. Maybe I just play a bu- maybe I just play a game real late. Yeah, it could be Steam Deck time CT6s. Cuz like would I would I hate having to play a game on the plane? Not really. But I'd prefer to just sleep and fast forward time, you know? That's my preferred flight. Have you played the Hades update? Yeah, I streamed it. Um, But I haven't... It's up on YouTube. You can check it out on the YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash the Andy Cortez. Um, Still haven't met Ben Starr yet. I did the stream and I just went to the underground. Totally didn't even think that he could be in the above ground area. So got to that one fight against that girl with the short hair, whooped her ass and then died kind of shortly after that. But it was awesome. Love all the new character art. Popped off a lot for the new assets. Loved seeing the finished door before you fight Kronos. Whoops, Kronos' ass, by the way. Just so goaded, you know. Have you played Splintered Fate, which is Hades? Team? No, I haven't yet. Mike said that it was, like, pretty cool, but still felt like diet Hades, you know. 
Hello, Ragnar. My kid takes a nap in the car. We call it fast travel. I mean, dude, yeah, I love that. I like. There's no better feeling. It's been something I've been trying to achieve ever since the RTX London flight. Which was, was it nine hours or ten hours? I forget how long. But it was the perfect. And I just haven't been able to achieve it since. This last one, I mean, I don't ever, I don't really fly internationally ever. But this last flight was really close. I woke up like two or three times during this last flight. But of the 12 hours for the flight, I was probably asleep for about 10 and a half, maybe 10 hours, 10 and a half hours. But the RTX one was legitimately fell asleep before we even took off, woke up and we were descending. It was amazing. It was so sick. I can never sleep on planes no matter what I do. Dude, legitimately, um, my anti-anxiety meds make it a lot easier. Not, not, and not because I'm like worried about like the plane blowing up or some shit. That's not why I have trouble sleeping. I just like have trouble sleeping. I had trouble sleeping anyway. And it helps me a lot now. I'm too scared of flying to fall asleep. Yeah, I feel that. Sick game. Uh, bought it as well. Not even, not even a fun, not even a fan of the solid game, but it feels good to play. Or oh, are you talking about the TMNT game? Oh, Kill Knight. Um, yeah, Kill Knight, I, I thought it was, oh, I thought it was fun, but I wasn't like blown away by it. I think I had my, I think ro fucking Roger, Roger set the. Expectations too high, you know. Is he in the chat right now? Who knows? He's in New York. What's the best thing about Japan from your experience? Man, I just love how walkable it all is. I love it. Like, I just love... Everything feels like a movie set. Because of how little room there are for, like, cars to drive in a lot of these places. It feels like they shrunk the proportions to, like, not have to build a full, like, city set for a movie or whatever. But it's not, <laughs> you know, like, it's, I don't know, I, I, I love, uh, I, it just feels so efficient. It feels so, like, well thought out, you know. Toilets are sick. Toilets are great. Love that. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do tomorrow, Ragnar. Hoping to see the Osaka castle. We got plenty of time before our flight, so I think we can do it. Did you get a picture with no face in the end? No, that was always just a big line. I wish... I wish, like, awful streamers didn't ruin... The ability for people like me to just walk inside places with cameras. 
Because those there, there were too many places today that would not let me just have my little selfie stick and walk around. I legitimately wanted to give him money and be like, I'm really cool and chill. I'm not going to, like... <laughs> What I need to get is a, I was really sad because when I ended this stream earlier today, because we were at the Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center would have definitely let me film in there. I should have just, I should have just walked in there. They were not telling anybody to stop, like, those people walking around, like, with their phones and, you know, selfie videos and shit, and, um, I should have just walked in there, but. I should have taken it off the selfie stick and just walked around with the phone. That would have been a lot easier. But uh, one thing I wanted to get today at the Pokemon Center was a pin for my brother that just says, by the way, pin's kind of hard to find. Um, the Hello Kitty store, my brother wanted me to get some pins for my nieces and my sister-in-law. And they just didn't sell pins. Very weird. Got them some keychains, but um, what I wanted at the Pokemon Center, I just wanted a little Pokeball or something that says Poke Center Osaka, or you know, just something like commemorating it. And there just there was there wasn't a whole lot of that, unfortunately. I don't know if I could say when I. I'm, I think I can let you all know. I'll just have to double check though, JT Besta. But it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of far out from now. It's not like in the immediate future. You know, it's not like within the next couple of days or something. Even though I'm gone anyway, I'll still be back in Texas. I got most of my pins from Gotchas. Yeah, that's a good call, Shifra. That's a good call. It's not like my brother likes Pokemon anyway. It's just I wanted a something commemorating Osaka, you know. So maybe I can... I'll just find something at the airport. But he has this lanyard with a bunch of different pins from different vacations and places that they visit. Um, what I did buy at the Pokemon store was just a bunch of, a bunch of tiny things. Because they, uh, they're just insanely tiny, so I don't got to worry about space. Oh, and they gave, uh, let's open this up. I don't know what this is, but they, this came with the order. But it's like the little, uh, Pokemon chip thing from the Pokemon, uh, TCG. Later, Techie Haas. I hope you got Nick a Bulbasaur-related gift. Now look at that. Look at that little Pikachu. So what is this? Oh, it's like a play... Is it like a playing sheet? Oh, it is. God dang. What's the one side is? Oh, it's just like, it's like how to play TCG. And then the other side is like a play mat. Pretty cool. They just tossed that shit in there. They're doing some other stuff as well. Generations. What are you getting for your best friend, Mike? I'm not getting anybody anything. I ain't getting nothing for nobody.
And I would if I had extra room. But like... I saw all the gifts I could have been buying. And I knew that I would need an extra suitcase. And I don't want to make anybody feel... I'll let everybody feel equally unspecial. Because <laughs> like I saw a bunch of cool shit that I'm like, oh man, I'd love to get this for Raj and this for Bless and that for Barrett. And then I'll have to get and this for Greg and that for this uh, fucking Cyndaquil for Tim. And, this, and it's like, I don't got room for that shit. but I got these for me. Mike said you're getting him a Steam Deck for Christmas on KFGD. He has one. The one that he lost? Or the one that he forgot where it is? I had to get my babies. Little tiny fucking things. He wants an OLED though. The amount of times Mike has said, yeah, I got $3 to my name. I'll be fine though. I'll get paid on Friday. <laughs> he, he needs help. Articuno. Best legendary bird. Don't fucking talk to me about it. Again, argue with your mother. All right. He wants an OLED so you can lose that one too. <laughs> Greg's already bothering me about getting, about giving him my OLED. <laughs> like, if, like, the most financially irresponsible person on the planet should never need somebody to get him something. <laughs> You know, that's just something that you buy anyway, and you you pay the price both like, you know, literally and metaphorically. You'll be paying the price because it's going to hurt when maybe you're too broke to eat food that week, but also uh, you swipe the card, you know. Your white steam deck arrives today? Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Christian JPEG, thanks for gifting five months of support. Thank you, Christian JPEG. Very kind of you. Mike could have given you that selfie stick he gave away at a concert or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I forgot he did that. Thank you, Christian JPEG. Very kind of you. What time is there? It's a uh, 10 something, 10.30, almost 11, 10.30 p.m. Hotel's pretty chill. There's actually a, uh, this is something I learned yesterday. Jake Decker was like, do you have a, a balcony? And I was like, no. And he was like, I think you do. I was like, I don't think so, dog. And I do. <laughs> it's just like, it's a weird balcony. It was very like, I don't know, it just didn't even look like it existed. I'm not getting close to the edge so I don't drop shit.
yeah, it's just a little, little tiny, tiny little balcony. Pretty cool. I tense up every time. Yeah, I, I feel very tense as well. I was using the the camera that Roger let me take the uh, the one with the gimbal on it. I was taking some shots up here earlier with it, and I was so scared. Is it cold? Yeah, it's pretty fucking cold right now. It's like 45 or something. All right, gamers, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to play some Steam Deck. I'm going to hang out. And I wish you all the best. Maybe I'll do another stream from the airport. Who knows? Probably not. Ooh, it's fucking cold. Okay, I got to go. I love you all. Be well. Oh, hell yeah, I got him, Steven. I love that big dog. Thank you. Bye, gamers. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon.